In this video, we would like to talk about adding text to a slide, and specifically, text using placeholders and bulleted item text. As you can see, the slide on your screen is a title slide layout. If I were to right-click this slide and hover over Layout, you would see Title Slide is the one selected. Uh, that's this layout. It has two text containers, one for the title, one for the subtitle. And where it says Click to Add Title, it's as simple as clicking there and typing your title. Okay, I've typed my title and it has a font size and color and characteristics consistent with the theme I have chosen uh, called the ION theme. As it turns out though, I would like a little bit bigger title. If I were to click somewhere in my title and look up at the ribbon, I would see that it uses Century Gothic uh, font and that I'm at a 60 point font, style, font size now. Let's highlight over this and make this font a little bit bigger. When we highlight it, you'll see this little mini menu pop up, and that's the most convenient one to use. I'll click the drop down next to font size, scroll down a bit, and let's let's try 72. That's uh, one inch font, uh, 72 points, one inch font. That looks pretty good, but let's say that I want an all caps um, title, not just a uh, capitalized and lowercase paragraph style title. I can highlight the text again to format it or I can click the border of its text container and when that border becomes a solid line the edit I make will affect everything inside that container. This is the easy way to uh, make gross changes to text containers. I'm going to come up and click the dialog launcher under the font group and choose all caps to convert it to all caps and click OK. And it's converted to all caps but now it's a little bit too big. It, I don't want a line break or the text to wrap around in this container. I could resize the container but rather I'm going to come up and change it to 66 point font and it fits that box nicely now, that container. And by the way, if you want to move any of these containers, hover over the border, your cursor will become a four-headed arrow. Hold down the mouse and drag that title anywhere you want. Okay, I'm going to return it to its preset position. Now I'm going to go ahead and click in where it says click to add a subtitle and type my subtitle. Okay, I've typed my subtitle, but you can see I made a mistake. I wanted to spell the word college here, uh, but I inadvertently mistyped it. It uses the same dictionary that Word uses here, and Excel for that matter, and you see the little red jaggy underline under the misspelled word. I can, just as in Word, right click and choose a correct spelling. You'll also notice that the uh, font color is yellow because that's what this theme dictates. I can always change that, of course, uh, but for now let's stay with the um, theme choices. All right, that's an example of adding text to a title slide, just filling in those uh, text box containers. Now, uh, let's ignore the second slide, the one that has Kofi Annan on it and some text floating on the, on the slide itself. Uh, for a moment, I'm going to ignore that and add a third slide right here. I've clicked underneath the Kofi Annan slide. I'm coming up to the New Slide icon on the Home tab, clicking the drop-down, and choosing Title and Content. This is the very typical uh, layout template used for many PowerPoint slides. And I'm going to click up here where it says to add a title and type my title. Okay, College Empowers. And then many PowerPoint uh, presentations you see are nothing but slides like this one that have bulleted items on them. And to um, click, uh, add a bulleted item, I click inside the uh, text content and you can see that the bullet is grayed out. It's not active and will not appear on the slide until I actually type some content there. So let me go ahead and type some content. And then at the end of a line, when I press enter, you'll see another shaded bullet. That one won't appear until I actually type something. And let me go ahead and type something now. And before I proceed, I have two more items I want to type here. I want to draw your attention to a characteristic of the bulleted item as you're adding text. I'm going to resize my text container and make it small so that the next item I enter in here will um, go beyond the borders of the container. 
All right, now when I press enter, watch the text that's on the screen. And as I type a new one, all of the text resized. So uh, that's one of the characteristics of bulleted text in a text container. It will resize to fit within the container. And uh, this little button that showed up here allows you to control those auto fit options. I'm going to click the drop down, choose control auto correct options and show you how to control that. If I did not want my text to auto fit the placeholder, I would clear this checks box under apply as you type. Okay, if I didn't want that to happen. In fact, I do want it to happen, so I'm going to leave that checkbox checked and cancel. I just wanted to show you that. And let me resize this container once again back to its other size, and you can see the font expands to its maximum size. The font size is dictated by the theme that I'm using. Let me uh, press enter here and enter my fourth item. Okay, and that's basically how you create about 80% of all the slides you'll ever see in PowerPoint. <laughs> it's, it's sad to say, but I've sat through a lot of presentations that are nothing but a title slide with some bulleted items. There's, there are far more effective ways to present information on slides, and we'll get to those as we continue building our presentation. But that's the basics of entering text on a slide in PowerPoint.